Barry Gordy is a retired American record executive, producer, songwriter, and film producer who is best known as the founder of Motown Records. Barry Gordy has a net worth of $400 million as of 2023. Barry Gordy was born on November 28, 1929 in Detroit, Michigan, to a middle-class family of eight children. His grandfather was the son of a white plantation owner and a slave woman in Georgia. His father was a successful businessman who owned a grocery store, a plastering and carpentry business, and a printing shop. Barry Gordy dropped out of high school to pursue a boxing career, but retired after 15 fights. He then served in the Korean War as a corporal in the 58th Field Artillery Battalion. After returning to Detroit, he worked at the Ford Motor Company and opened a record store called the 3D Record Mart. Barry Gordy developed an interest in songwriting and music production, and began writing songs for local artists such as Jackie Wilson and the Matadors. He also learned the ropes of the music business from his mentor, Al Green, not the singer, who ran the Flame Show Bar Talent Club. Barry Gordy signed and developed some of the most successful and influential artists of the 1960s and 1970s, such as The Miracles, The Supremes, Marvin Gaye, The Temptations, The Four Tops, Stevie Wonder, The Jackson Five, and many more. He also created a distinctive Motown sound that blended R&B, soul, pop, rock and roll, and doo-wop, and appealed to a wide and diverse audience. He was known for his strict quality control, artistic vision, and business acumen. Barry Gordy expanded his empire to include film and television production, publishing, and distribution. He also moved his operations from Detroit to Los Angeles in 1972, to pursue more opportunities in the entertainment industry. He produced and co-wrote several films, such as Lady Sings the Blues, Mahogany, and The Wiz, starring some of his Motown artists. He also launched a television show, Motown 25, Yesterday, Today, Forever, which featured a historic reunion of the Motown stars and a memorable performance by Michael Jackson. Barry Gordy sold his ownership of Motown Records to MCA and Boston Ventures in 1988 for $61 million, but retained the rights to his personal publishing. Barry Gordy has received numerous awards and honors for his contributions to music and entertainment. He was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1988, the Songwriters Hall of Fame in 1990, the Junior Achievement U.S. Business Hall of Fame in 1998, and the Rhythm and Blues Foundation's Pioneer Award in 2005. He also received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 1996, a Grammy Trustees Award in 1999, a Kennedy Center Honor in 2016, and a Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2017. He also wrote an autobiography, To Be Loved, in 1994, and co-produced a Broadway musical, Motown, the musical, in 2013, based on his life story. He retired from the music industry in 2019, he is currently 93 years old and lives in Los Angeles. He has been married three times and has eight children from six different women. Barry Gordy married his first wife, Thelma Louise Coleman, in 1953 and together, they had three children, Hazel Joy, Barry Four, and Terry James. They divorced in 1959. Barry Gordy married his second wife, Renoma Singleton, in 1960 and they had one son, Carrie Ashby. They divorced in 1964. Barry Gordy had two more children during his marriage to Singleton, Sherry, born to Gina Jackson, and Kennedy William, born to Margaret Norton. Barry Gordy dated Diana Ross from 1965 to 1970 and they had one daughter, Rhonda Ross, born in 1971. Barry Gordy married his third wife, Grace Eden, in 1990 and they divorced in 1993. Barry Gordy had one more son, Stephen Red Fu Kendall, born in 1975 to Nancy Livisca. Barry Gordy is the grandfather of 10 grandchildren and the great-grandfather of one great-grandchild. 
Barry Gordy is widely regarded as one of the most influential figures in the history of music and entertainment. He founded Motown Records in 1959 with an $800 loan from his family. Motown Records became the first African-American-owned record label to achieve widespread success and popularity across racial and cultural lines. Motown Records produced over 180 number one hits worldwide and launched the careers of many legendary artists such as Diana Ross and the Supremes, Marvin Gaye, Stevie Wonder, The Temptations, The Four Tops, Smokey Robinson, and The Miracles, The Jackson Five, Lionel Richie and The Commodores, among others. Barry Gordy created several movies based on the lives and music of his Motown artists. Barry Gordy is still alive and well as of 2023. He is currently living in Los Angeles, California. He celebrated his 94th birthday on November 28, 2023. He continues to be involved in various projects related to Motown Records and its legacy. In 2013, he co-produced a Broadway musical based on his life story called Motown, The Musical. In 2019, he announced that he was donating $4 million to expand the Motown Museum in Detroit. He also attended the premiere of a documentary film about his life called Hitsville, The Making of Motown in August 2019. Barry Gordy is a remarkable man who has made a lasting impact on the world of music and entertainment. He is an inspiration to many aspiring artists and entrepreneurs who dream of following their passions and creating their own success stories. What is your thought about Barry Gordy and his life career? Give us your thought in the comments section below. We hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already to get notified when new videos are uploaded. You can also give us a like and share. See you in the next video. Goodbye.